Hello, can everybody? Today I will be demonstrating this dissectable machine system, which we have which we have recently procured in the electrical machines lab. It's a German imported machine, which costs around 44 lakhs. So what uh, is the beauty of this machine or the generalized electrical machines lab which we have is that we can design first any machine whether it's a rotating machine whether it's a DC generator whether it's a DC motor whether it's an AC machine induction machine synchronous machine right we can first design that machine using this dissectable machine system after designing the particular machine then we can perform the required rest tests which we can procure so if we uh, look uh, at this machine setup this dissectable machine system it consists of two frames frame one from this to this and another frame from this to this side so what in if we look in this frame here are different coils are uh, different components using these different components we can design any ac or dc machine right so if i will introduce these parts this is for this connecting wires right and this is the tachometer which is used which is used to monitor the speed whether case of a generator or a motor right and these are the different coils these are the different coils which we are used to design any rotor right and these are different in size and they their turn ratio also varies so depending upon the size of a machine, the rating of the machine which we are going to design, accordingly we have to use that coil, right? And this, this, this one, this one, and this portion is used for set for these coils. So depending upon the type of armature or a stator we are going to design for a particular machine, so we'll be using that coil section, right? Suppose if I have to use this coil, it's marked as coil number five. It has the so same dimensions as data the number of turns in this coil will have the same so it's marked as l5 coil so here, here it's marked as l5 cross 2 that means the coil 5 they are 2 in number and they have the same dimensions so it depends upon way which type of machine we are going to design we'll use that number of coil right after that we are having a two turn armature coil we want to design a two turn armature we can use this coil this is the pointer which should show the direction of field right here it's a wound stator which is already mounted on this machine after that we are having this coupler this coupler is used to couple this DC shunt generator with this part so if you if you want to de design a generator with a DC or AC generator we need a mechanical input and that mechanical input is provided by this machine by using this coupling coupler to couple this part with this shape of this part right already we have the uh, lap mount rotor designed you can see here we are you we have used four coils and the terminals of these four coils are bring on this section you can see on the shaft they are on these commutator segments the coils are placed on these commutator segments so if we are using this uh, shaft designing as a dc rotor uh, rotor of a dc machine then we have to use these parts that is the commutator segments right if you are using this shaft as the shaft of any uh, ac machine then we have to use these as slip rings so both slip rings are here and, and these commutator segments are placed here so depending upon the type of rotor we are going to design we'll be using that section and if we look at this this is the brush holder which is holding this carbon brush which is used in dc machine this is the carbon brush and this is connector so you can see carbon brush which is making the slippery contact with these commutator segments right so depending upon the dc motor or dc generator it will be used in that portion this is another brush holder and this is the another thing which the beauty is that this is actually the centrifugal switch fixed element it also contains this carbon brush but actually what it's uh, it shows the uh, effect of uh, brush angle on the commutation which is uh, not possible 
in uh, the machines which we already have in the machines lab to see the effect of brush angle on the commutation we can measure using this we can measure the brush angle so using the brush angle we can see the effect of uh, commutation on this you of this brush angle this is another part already we have this rotor so sorry this uh, wound stator it's con consists of 12 coils it's already fixed on this frame so the any machine also this is the squall cage rotor you can see these conductors on this they are shorted by these end rings which can be used to design the induction motor whether single phase or three phase and this is the brake drum upon which we will be loading the given rotating machine it is coupled with this also you can see these are the pole shows used as a stator part depending upon the type of machine which are going to design and these are the rotor poles these are the rotor poles upon which we will be fixing the particular coil suppose if we have this rotor pole and I have fixed this coil on this right I will be introducing this coil here to make a particular rotor pole I will be showing each and every machine in the upcoming videos till you have kept patience in today's video I will be just introducing what is the beauty of this dissectable machine system and these are the interpoles which we will be using or you can say the compensating winding which were used for compensating the armature reaction so these are the interpoles so this was all about this section the different components which we will be using to design a new machine right but from this frame point of view this, uh, this section is having the different meters which we will be using after we have designed any particular machine that we have to perform any particular test on that machine say suppose we have to perform load test on a DC motor or a induction motor or we have to perform load test on a generator right for that we will we'll be requiring different power supplies we will be requiring metering instruments which are installed in this section you can see we have a voltmeter similarly we are having an AC meter in this insert which can measure maximum load current of 10 amperes we are having a variable resistance here which can vary from 0 to 20 by varying this knob to 200 ohms like and this is the main MCB which will will be turning by turning on this MCB we can have a control on these power supplies see you can see the beauty of this is that we are having a three phase power supply inbuilt in this these are the designated phase L1, L2, L3 and the neutral and simultaneously we can tap 270 volt 5 ampere DC output from this power supply so almost a DC and an AC power supply which is placed in this box which is almost having a KV rating of around 5 KV it's a compact version now these are the fuse of these uh, corresponding lines these are the synchronizing lamps which will be using in <coughs> synchronous machines for performing the synchronism practicals later on and this is the variable AC to DC supply depending upon the switch if it is placed on this we can get a variable output 0 to DC volt depending upon the switch on this side we can get a 0 to 240 volt AC power supply after that these are the control switch suppose we want to connect or disconnect some load so we can use this switch also we have a DC milliampere center zero or a galvanometer type meter we have inserted in this we have also having the resistor and a capacitor unit which we will be using in designing uh, single phase induction motors as they are not self starting they will be using we will be using different methods to uh, say capacitor start capacitor run in the capacitor start in the, uh, resistor induction run right our resistance starting single phase induction motor will be using those equipments and under current rating of the corresponding capacitances are the resistance used are mentioned right similarly we have a dc volt meter whose range is maximum 0 to 500 volts it can measure also dc meter right it can measure a maximum current of 10 amperes also we are having a single and three phase meter that's a uh, we can say the digital energy meter is also inserted in this right which, which can measure power factor which can measure current which can measure reactive power which can measure power factor which can measure energy for a given period of time which we will be uh, using right 
and this is the two these are the two frames that i have already discussed it. this is the dc generator dc shunt generator will be used in a, which which will be using as a prime mode and at, at which speed it is rotating it can be displayed here and the type of machine which will be going to design will be using in will be using inserting in this as already you can see i have already inserted a wound stator of a three phase induction motor in this so if i want to disassemble this i have to remove using the screw driver allen key to remove this frame and I add any other frame or any type of stator which i want to use and here i can adjust the brush right and this is the loading arrangement using a uh, this drum i can load a particular machine and from here it can show the torque developed on that machine that stock in newton meters right this was uh, a general introduction about this dissectable machine system right so uh, in the upcoming videos i will be showing you each and every assignment each and every machine how we can first design that machine and how we can perform a particular test on the machine thank you